What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're here in the mining room again. And uh, today we're talking about a few big, big changes that are coming to the mining farm. So if you're new to here, uh, this is basically all my crypto mining gear and we've got AI rigs right behind us. And that is what we're talking about today. We are gonna be selling off almost all of our old GPUs. Well, not so old, uh, some of our lower power GPUs, our 5060 Ti's, all the 16 gigabyte cards, and basically just keeping our 5090s and using those funds and turning them into an epic motherboard, right? So we can put two 5090s on the one board. Because at the moment, the rentals have just been average at best, and we need a pivot. So that's what we're about to do. So I'm gonna take this camera down and walk you through exactly what we're selling. Then we'll jump on over onto the computer and see exactly what we're buying and my sort of justification as to why I think this might be the best step forward. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start with uh, exactly what we're going on in here. So we've got four rigs right here, one more here and one down below. So to start, this is a 3090, 64 gigabytes of RAM on a 7545HX motherboard. So that 3090, we're actually gonna keep and we're gonna put it back into my computer. And we're gonna keep the, uh, the motherboard, the 7945HX for CPU mining off the solar. This rig right here, when it focuses, this is a 4060 Ti, again, with 64 gigabytes of RAM. Now that RAM is gonna be sold. We're gonna sell that RAM for twice as much as we paid for it. And that's gonna be really nice. We can pretty much sell this 4060 Ti for exactly what we paid for it as well. Another 64 gigabytes of RAM right here. So we've got one set, two set, and then we've got three sets, four sets of 64 gigabyte RAM. Here we've got the 5060 Ti. We've also got a 5070 Ti. So basically by just selling that RAM, we can pretty much buy this Epic motherboard, which we'll have a look in a sec. These two are 5090s, they're staying. We'll probably keep the DDR5 RAM off this one as well, the 7950X, but not too sure. I am planning on getting one more 5090 as well because you know, I wanna get one, a single card rig and a two card rig. So that's what we're looking at at the moment as far as what we're getting rid of. I tell you what, it's gonna be really, really quiet in here when this is all gone, but like we said, uh, if it's not getting rented, it's not making money, then uh, it's kind of pointless. So let's jump on over to the computer now and, uh, and let's start talking numbers in a little bit more detail and show you exactly what we're planning on buying. Let's get it. So as we said, we are, we're selling all this RAM, right? We are, we're doing the smart thing. We're not hoarding any gear anymore. And uh, we're taking advantage of this crazy RAM market. So I bought all of these 64 gigabyte sets. They're actually two by 32 gigabyte sets for about 200 USD, maybe like six months ago. And we're gonna sell off four of them, right? So we can pretty much get, you know, maybe 1600 bucks, maybe 1500 bucks, anywhere from, 1200 to 1500 bucks after we pay those ebay fees of course um which is really really good and like i said i bought all these a while ago thinking that the budget uh gpu ai rental rigs were going to be a thing but it just turns out that they're uh, they're not getting rented and we'll have a look at the rentals of the last week in a second but we've gone ahead and made some purchases already so as you can see right here we've got ourselves our ram look at the price of this absolutely crazy 128 gigabytes now i was going to uh, get four by 32 but it was another 150 bucks so i thought let's not do that this is just ddr4 ecc memory for this epic motherboard now from what i've been told the ram speed is not going to be a huge issue with this sort of stuff but look we'll find out so we've got ourselves a 7b12 or a 7002 i believe it is yeah, 7002, so it's a 64 gigabyte, uh, 64 gigabyte, 64 core, 128 thread uh, CPU. So really, really cool. This is gonna be my first Epic motherboard that I've bought. And uh, so it's gonna be a bit of a learning experience and uh, we'll make sure we take you through all of that as well. Base clock, only 2.25 gigahertz and 240 watts uh, this thing uses. So it definitely, definitely pulls some power. So we've already got those two pre-ordered. 
Um, I'm going to message this uh, this seller about uh, the, the, the delivery date on this, see if we can get it a little closer, but within a few weeks, we'll have all those parts and we'll get building that. Uh, so really, really excited about that. And I'll be able to put the, uh, the two 5090s on this because one of the uh, important features of these Epic motherboards is it's got four uh, X16 PCIe slots. So whoever's renting this will be able to take full advantage, right? They'll have full power, full bandwidth uh, to use these 5090s at will. Now you can, of course, just use PCIe uh, adapters and risers and uh, plug them into a standard motherboard, but there's a huge, huge drop off in performance and people will notice that you, people do test these rigs before uh, they stick on them for long term. We've also bought ourselves a cooler. Um, this is the Arctic Freezer 4UM. Now, apparently this is really, really good and capable of cooling up to 250 watts or 60 watts. Um, I had a bit of help picking all these parts. So shout out Crane in Discord. You know who you are. I appreciate all your input, my friend, because otherwise I'd be uh, sort of stabbing in the dark at all this sort of stuff. So the total price, what do we got? Nine to about 1500. So about, yeah, 1600 bucks or so we've spent USD to get this motherboard because you know I'm a spender. We just spend. I haven't even sold this yet, but we spend. So my credit card loves me. Uh, yes, you know who you are, credit card company. Give me some more rewards. That'd be nice. More than like the absolute marginal amount that you get back, but just what it is, right? So all of these are getting sold soon. I was going to sell the uh, graphics cards as well, but at this stage, I don't need to. I will be buying another 5090 soon um, to keep it on that 7950X rig. I might do that at some point because I can basically buy three quarters of a, a 5090 with those three GPUs. So that's probably what we'll do pretty, pretty soon. But let's jump on over now and have a look at my sort of reasoning behind this uh, because the uh, the Octospace budget rigs have not been going to plan as of late. Okay, so change of plans. I know we said we were uh, undecided on whether to sell any of these GPUs, but we've, uh, we've gone ahead and done it. My last 3090, rest in peace to the Tough Gaming 3090. I've had that for like four or five years now. I don't even know how long I've had that, so... Right now, the prices are high and uh, we're taking advantage because this right here is almost a 5090. Would you believe it? Those prices are outrageous. This is just a 10 gigabyte 3080. I've had sitting around for literally a year at this point, I think, doing nothing. The 5060 Ti, 16 gigabyte, also not rented. You'll, uh, you'll see that in a little bit. And we're going to sell one set of the 64 gigabyte uh, DDR4 RAM. Just because I want to hold on to some of that RAM, I'm going to uh, start firing up some CPU mining rigs again. So yeah, going, 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 gone. So these are going to be up on eBay. I know 14%, whatever, don't care. They're going to take a bit of money anyway, but for the ease of it, I, uh, I think now's the time. So let's jump on back on over into the computer and I'll show you uh, part of the reason why we're selling these because the rentals, they haven't been great and I don't think they're getting better. Now, just so you can get a bit of an idea of how bad these rentals have been, particularly on these uh, these budget uh, builds here, this is the 4060 Ti over the last, I think it's been on about 20 days now or so, maybe 15, 20 days, two hours rented, right? So complete waste of time, not getting anything. We've made not even one octa. We've definitely burnt a lot more in electricity. Our 5060 Ti, slightly better, but this has been online for just under a month and not even a day rented again as well. And then of course our 5070 Ti, just as I wanted to rip it off, actually got a rental, but again, you know, nearly 30 days uptime and uh, about five days online. So that's not gonna cut the mustard. Um, after that 30 day period, even with these rentals, it's still, you know, losing more than we're making. That's what really led me to uh, to be happy to part with all of these rigs. So jumping on here into our dashboard, uh, let's start by looking at the overview. Why is this lagging so much? I don't know. Uh, so this is, it's currently the 2nd of January here, and uh, this is the week starting the 28th. So three Octa we've got right in the last uh you know five days or so we actually ended up having a really well a decent week last week after we made that video but as you can see it's just you know 22 bucks 24 bucks 14 bucks so it is very up and down but i feel like at this point the uh the writing's on the wall now if we look at the 5090s 
of course we just see you know we're inundated with them they're everywhere it's another huge big race to the bottom 16 cents these are getting rented out for now so you know it's just kind of not worth it now one thing that i have been told and why we're going to go to the two gpus to start um is for jobs that require more bandwidth so we look at this guy right here with the threadripper you know 264 jo uh, jobs over that well however long he's been up at least 30 days maximum session of two days which is not huge but looking at this space here if i've got my epic um you know 64 core motherboard here it's going to be better than this it's better than this it's better than this it's better than this and you know these are all still getting rented out right four day rentals here and now what you notice when you go to the single card is that a lot of the rentals they're all just crypto mining they've got an average time of like an hour or so you know this is an average one day rental here six day longest period so they're actually getting utilized you know for ai tasks like Genson and running various different images so that's sort of where our thought process is with that so fingers crossed it'll work out we've spent the money now anyway so in a few weeks we'll have them up and running now when we started with these rental rigs uh the budget ones they were doing really really well but like i've been saying you've got to adapt right so if it's not getting rented it's just a waste of time i don't hoard gear anymore i did that for years and now we're just upgrading so really excited about getting these uh this epic board online with the two 5090s we're going to add another 5090 at some point uh when we feel like spending the money again because geez the prices are outrageous the plan is just to keep that online on octa for 30 days see how we go see how much money we're making we'll do a video of that and if not we'll jump over to vast um, i have had rigs on vast before um, i just didn't have the patience because you know when i put one of the 5090s on i got it all set up but my other one was getting rented out like crazy on octa so we switched back so that will be the next pivot so hopefully within the next few weeks we'll be out we'll be building that board so make sure you hit those notifications and subscribe but when that video comes out i'm going to go through the whole thing all the bios settings and uh, and basically just learn through the process with you guys do me a favor hit that like button and i'll catch you in the next one Peace.